Pino. I met a girl named Pino. She was blanc, she was gris, she was noir, in a sunlit western tavern to which I had wandered far. When Pino came to my table and poured herself into a glass, I felt my senses burning. It was true love at last. She was sweet, she was dry, she was frizzante, a bouquet redolent and fine, tall, gold, and full-bodied, her aftertaste divine. But Pino cannot linger longer than the glass. Our affair was briefly intoxicating, now part of my growing vinous past. But interview comes Sauvignon, and the game begins again. So long as I have thirst, I doubt that it can end.